I look so awful and so tired right now, so that's awesome. But hello and happy Thursday. So I am just editing a video right now. It's a pretty big video that I had promised you guys and you guys kept on requesting and I filmed it and it took me forever to film. And now it is also taking me forever to edit, which is so unfortunate, but I am happy that it's gonna be done, but I can honestly see myself sitting here for like six hours editing because one, it's just a really big project because I have to like compile a bunch of footage. The other problem is Final Cut is being really, really slow for me right now, which is super irritating. So I want to get it done as quickly as possible so then I can plan out some other videos because I do want to try and get at least a few things pre-filmed. I don't know if I'll do a whole bunch of things pre-filmed, but I would like to get some stuff done so then I can start focusing on revisions because I would like to get back to that today. So hopefully this will fly by a little bit faster than it has been, but I guess we'll see. Hello, so today is Friday. I have a cat who is currently saying hello. Say hi, Lucy. But I have done some shopping today, so I've gotten a couple of really big purchases and then just some little things. So first of all, at Winners, I picked up this little thing of succulents. I think it is so cute and it's gonna look so adorable on my desk, so that will be fun. I think it's going to go on my writing desk or my upstairs desk, I'm not too sure. But speaking of succulents at Michael's, they had some that were on like super sale. They didn't have a ton because they had been on sale for a while, but I got this little one right here. It was like $2, so can't really beat that. And then I also got this one, which I'm struggling to get out, but it's also for Michael's and it's just a little box, which I think is cute. So I'm gonna have to find homes for those. But I also got a couple of exciting things that I have been putting off getting for a while, just because it's a really big purchase and I didn't want to spend the money, to be honest, but I ended up just biting the bullet because I had filmed my Alice collection like I was talking about, but it really did not turn out how I wanted it to. And part of that is because my camera has been awful. Like it's five years old. It's fine for like photo taking, but for video and for what I'm doing, it is not doing the best right now. So I knew I needed to upgrade. And for my Alice collection, it kept on going in and out of focus, which was really irritating. I'm sorry, can you hear the cats? Like they are just honestly having the best time of their lives. But as you can see, I got a new camera. So I got the upgraded version of my camera essentially, but I did get it with the different lens. So this is the Canon Rebel T7i. And then I also picked up the Canon 24 millimeter lens because I think that will be good for filming. So I'm going to refilm my Alice collection, which really sucks because it took me forever to film, but I really want to open this. I just, this was so expensive and it was so weird to like, I only ever buy really expensive things online. So it was really weird to have my total be like a thousand dollars. Holy crap, manual, very big. But I just, ugh. I needed it and I know I did. It was just a big purchase, so yay. I've had the same camera for so long. This is actually my third DSLR that I will be going through, but this one seemed to have the best reviews. So I'm excited for my video quality to go up. I'm actually gonna open it with two hands cause I don't want to drop anything. So I will show you after. Thank you, Lucy, for dropping it. Good morning. So it is Saturday today and I actually have a little meet and greet event today. So I am just getting ready for that now. It's not for a little bit, but I might try Try and film a couple of new things on my camera beforehand. I was going to try and film like quite a few things, but it's actually really rainy and storming outside, so it's going to be too dark. So if I can get at least one thing filmed, I will be happy, but I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. But I'm going to try my hardest and I'm going to turn myself into a real human now. So I'm all packed up and I am ready to go to my meet and greet and to interview Ellie Blake. So hopefully it's fun. I don't know. I'm really nervous. I love doing events like this but I also like hate it because it gives me really bad anxiety but it should be fun so I'm gonna go now. Hello so today is Sunday and honestly yesterday after my meet and greet and everything and after hanging out with um, Ellie Blake who is the author of Frostblood I did an interview with her which will be going up soon but after all of that yesterday I literally just passed right out because I love doing that stuff but like I said it gives me like a little bit of anxiety and I was so tired after I was just absolutely exhausted like I had been planning on filming and hoping to do stuff like that but I literally just like 
I was done. But I do have a couple of boxes to unbox today, so I wanted to do that. I did some filming today, obviously, because I have a face on, but I only got two videos filmed, and I would like to do more, but I really need to clean the house because I kind of have my stuff everywhere, so probably going to do that, and then if I have time after, I'll do a little bit more filming. I am liking my new camera, but I'm just really tired, so I just want to go to bed, but I know I can't. I mean, I worked at 5 in the morning, so that definitely doesn't really help matters, but I want to do those unboxings now so I'm gonna do that. So I've got my fairy loop for the month as well as my owl crate here so let's unbox them. So I will start out with the owl crate and if you haven't seen my unboxings recently I go through it pretty quickly just because I don't really like doing unboxings individually anymore so I just do them in my vlog so I don't really spend a lot of time on it. But the theme for this month's owl crate was Ruthless Royals. So we first have Genuine Agate and it is a ring that's fun except i have really chubby fingers so rings don't really fit on me so this oh actually it extends so it will fit on my chubby fingers except i really need to like extend it the entire way so struggle next we've got something in a pouch it's probably a mirror it seems to always be a mirror. So it says, may you always find beauty, which is a quote from The Bells by Danielle Clayton. And it is indeed a mirror. Can you see the cats if I go like this? Uh, no, no, no. Oh, there's Jackson. Oh, there's Lucy. You can see the cat. Oh, there's Luna. All the cats. Except for Ella, but like classic. Next we have, ooh. So these are magnetic bookmarks from Crafted Van, which I really love. And they are just a bunch of like evil queens. Oh my God, there's stuff on the back too. So so cute so we have not maleficent but i always want to say it but it's the evil queen from snow white and then we have maleficent and then we have the queen of hearts of course from alice in wonderland so there's a little card suit on the back for the queen of hearts and then a dragon yes a dragon on the back for maleficent and then the evil queen's like true form is on the back and then the evil queen from snow white her true form is on there next we've got something interesting so it says i like for things to happen stories to unfold and if i can't find a good enough story i make one which is such a great quote and that is a quote from holly black and it is like shaped as a book i almost oh there's another quote on that another quote from holly black and it says i'm a mere mortal and you are a prince of fairy you have much to lose and i have nothing so we've got some great i'm assuming cruel prince quotes in there but it's shaped like a book i feel like it's a piggy bank but it's not it is ooh, sharpen your blade harden your heart and it's just a little case which is really really cute next we've got possible pillowcase possible tote bag let's see what it is you really can never have enough tote bags or pillowcases though so like i'm totally fine with that but this is neither why why am i having so many struggles oh my god i'm sitting here having so many struggles it's literally just like attached it's a tea towel but it's attached in the middle so it's all bunching up in the middle there we go so here it is and it says on it she had often wished for adventure for old spells and wicked kings which is a quote from throne of glass by sarah j mass of course now next we have a little print here and this is for before she ignites in the sequel as she ascends by jody meadows which is coming out september 11th but it says i wanted freedom in the same way i wanted my next breath an unspoken but constant desire and then the final thing we have in here is the book for the month grace and fury by tracy banghart i got this three times i haven't read it yet but this has a different cover it came in the fairy loot and now it is in this one i think it was the fairy loot at least but this is the cover it's really nice i do like it i think i might prefer the regular color though question mark i'm obviously not very sure but it is signed which is really cool and it came with a nice bookmark which is always awesome and this little card right here but that has a letter from the author on the back and i'll probably be giving this to my school i just need to decide which edition i'm going to keep but it's probably going to be the other one because like i said i think i prefer the cover so thank you very much to Alcrate for sending that to me. The theme for next month's box is Masters of Disguise, which is really fun. So I do have a coupon code, so I will link Owlcrate as well as the coupon code down below. And now moving on to Fairy Loot. So I also have a coupon code for Fairy Loot, and I will link them down below as well. But I love these cards so, so much. But the theme for this month is Mutinous Pirate. So the first thing we have in here, I feel like it's like a flag, which is really appropriate with the theme of pirates. Please don't knock down the camera, Lucy. Thank you. That was just a risky situation, but flag! 
upside down. But it says when people say impossible, they usually mean improbable, which is very, very pretty and I like it a lot. It's also like a good writing motivation quote, so I might actually put that over my writing desk. Next, we have Sweet Peat Botanical Magic. It is from Geeky Clean and it is cherry blossom sugar scrub soap which is fun. I have really dry skin, so I do really enjoy me a good scrub. Next we have, ooh, intriguing, but I believe it's gonna be like a bottle of some sort. It is, hilarious. So it says, why is the rum always gone? And it's just a little like, I feel like it's a tea thing, because it feels like it looks like it's for tea because of this little thingy, but it's not, because it doesn't have one of those like filter things. What is it called? Why am I struggling? Infuser. But next we have Elian, Prince of Midas, Sea Mist and Musk, and this is a candle. It's it smells delightful. Ooh, it has sparkles. Also, I believe this is from Daughter of the Pirate King, which I really, really like. Next is, oh my God, a pirate wax seal. So cool. So it has like a wax stick, which you melt, and then it has a little seal. I've actually been wanting to get one of these to like put in my books or some sort of library stamp. I just haven't really looked for one or gotten one yet. Next, we have a sampler and exclusive poster for King of Scars by Lee Bardugo, which is so exciting. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this book. But it says, Privateer, Soldier, bastard survivor ruler monster dun 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 then we have this little promo card for these beautiful editions that they have of all of these classics so the secret garden is the most recent one that they did we all know which one i'm waiting for them to do i keep on looking and waiting for that announcement but fingers crossed one day they will but next we have this little magnet which says on it oh the ridiculous things on chaos one one i can never read this script i really Really struggle with it. So I will start again. <laughs> oh, the ridiculous things one has to do when one is a pirate. Fun! And the final thing is, of course, the book. So let's see what it is. Ooh! Green edges. I also feel like I already know what the book is, but like I might be surprised. Dun, dun, dun. I am not, but I'm really excited for it nonetheless. This is not a bad thing at all because I'm really excited for this book. I've actually had an arc of it forever, but I haven't gotten to it. Classic me. Oh my god, that was so much harder than I was expecting. But it is These Rebel Ways by Sarah Rosh. It has these beautiful green edges and it is a story about lady pirates, which there are a lot of like sea based stories this year in YA. I don't know what it is, but I'm on board. Oh my god, pirate pun. Amazing. Anyways, it came with a couple of fun things. So it has this little card here, which has like, it looks like poisons. I don't know. Then we have a bookmark here and then the fairy scoop. And then we have a letter from the author, which is lovely. So the theme for next month for fairy loot is star-crossed swoons. So like I said, coupon code and link will be down below. So like I said, I have a ton of cleaning to do. I just wanted to get these unboxings out of the way. Not that I don't like doing them. Like I do really like doing them and I appreciate the companies sending these to me. They are always really fun and I do enjoy them I just I'm really really tired I've had a really busy weekend and I just have so many things to do that I'm in like the mood where I don't want to do any of it so it has been a struggle recently but hopefully I will find my way I don't really know but I'm going to go and start cleaning because that's probably going to take me quite a while so after filming that little ranty update I was editing that video and I was about like halfway through editing it when I noticed that I had lipstick all over my teeth like it wasn't even like hardly noticeable i mean i didn't notice it for a while just because i was wearing a really natural lipstick shade so it wasn't like i had on like bright red lipstick or anything like that but then once i noticed it i could not stop noticing it and i was like oh so now i wasn't planning on filming today but i have gone and done my makeup and done my hair and now i'm going to film because i don't have anything else prepared hello lucy i'm just so frustrated because I feel like everything that I have filmed recently has just been a waste of time and I've had to refilm it so but I'm going to get some stuff filmed today I'm not really worried about getting a ton of stuff done just because I do have a couple of camera equipment things that are going to make my filming setup a little bit better but they are going to be coming in the mail tomorrow so of course I don't have them yet and I need this video done but on the other hand I do want to take advantage of the fact that my hair and makeup are going to be done so I don't know but on the note of what I was talking about before I've kind of been 
been considering taking a little bit of a break from doing vlogs or doing them every other week but I know a lot of people used to really love my vlogs but I find that they haven't really been doing as well as they used to so I don't know if I want to keep doing them or like I said take a little break I'm not really sure but I'll see where I stand on that but you guys always ask how I do my hair when I wear it curly so I'm gonna show you guys so most of it is natural I am really lucky with my hair where it will kind of do whatever I want it to do but I do use products that help it's probably gonna be echoey now because I am in my bathroom but the first thing I use is shampoo and conditioner and this is still wet because I just showered but I use the organics I believe it is OGX quenching and coconut curl shampoo and conditioner so I only use the conditioner on like from here down and then I'll rinse it out and then I use some and actually leave it in but as you can see if I do nothing to my hair some days it ends up being really really crazy but to complement that I also use the other mousse this is the best mousse I have ever used in my life I love it so it is the locking and coconut curls creamy mousse and it really helps I just flip my head upside down scrunch some of the mousse through my hair and then when I flip it back over I'll scrunch a little bit more on the top but the top doesn't curl nearly as well as the bottom and that's just always how my hair has been but I use another product that is actually in here we're all over the place actually where is it it was just there I lost it and I swear to god I was just going to use it well I don't know where that went but it is a John Frieda frizzies cream stuff because my hair will get pretty frizzy so I do like to use that I find it helps to combat the frizz but then I use some heat on my hair not a lot just to kind of fix up the top layer so I plug in my straightener because I like to use that to kind of fix up the very top where it will be kind of crunchy and weird but I have the Remington I don't know what straightener this is I'm really sorry but I have repurchased it so many times because I lost it a couple of times my sister took it and then the one it broke and I didn't realize that I had a warranty so I just repurchased it but it's not very expensive at all and it is the best straightener I've ever used so I put it on the lowest setting but that is just to kind of like fix up the top and then I use just any curling iron but recently I picked up this bed head one I'm not sure how big it is I would say it's like half an inch but I find this is really helpful in mimicking natural curls you can really do it with any curling iron but this is the best one that I've used so I don't really have anywhere good to put the camera well I'm doing this I'm sorry but I don't want to take out my whole tripod but what I do is I just pick some random pieces on the top and I just curl them so I'm gonna do that and then I will report back to you so we are now in the kind of in-between stage and my one caution about using that curling iron is don't leave it in for too long because I left it in for like two seconds and then by force of habit when I take it off the curling iron I like scrunch it up so then it will form which you really don't need to do with this curling iron so the curls are a little bit crazier than I was hoping but now I honestly just naturally I put like half of my hair on this side and I just kind of part it a little bit crazy I don't know I need to really fiddle with it so then it doesn't look ridiculous but but yeah, that is how I do my hair when it looks nice. Right now, it doesn't. And that's why when I go to events and stuff, I always just straighten it because it's a really risky game because this hairstyle doesn't always turn out how I want it to. Plus, I need to wait for my hair to dry naturally. So it's very time consuming and sometimes it turns out not looking so great. So I'm just going to fiddle with it a little bit and make sure that all the curls kind of ouchies mesh together and it will look a little bit more natural and nice. So really, I think I just curled like five pieces on the top on either side it just looks a little bit crazy right now because like I said sometimes it just does that so yeah now I'm going to go and fix up my hair a little bit and go and film literally today is just it's an awful day everything's going wrong so just as I was about to start filming someone came and started cutting the grass so then it was way too loud and I couldn't film and I'm just not happy with the setup especially knowing that I have new stuff coming tomorrow so I do have a video that I can put up tomorrow so I think I'm going to put that one up and just hold off on filming this video that literally everything is conspiring against me to do like today has just been there's just everything that's possibly going wrong is going wrong that doesn't make sense everything that could possibly go wrong is going wrong and it's just very frustrating and exhausting so I'm just gonna give up because I don't see the point in doing it anymore I don't know I'm just annoyed so I think I'm gonna take the rest of the day to maybe do a little bit of video planning and just kind of I guess mope about and be whiny because I did all my makeup and my hair and everything and now it's literally for nothing so that's awesome but oh well what can you do so it's actually Monday afternoon 
but I just wanted to kind of address something because you may have noticed this vlog was a little bit all over the place and the reason for that is I kind of ended up losing some of my footage and halfway through the vlog I went on a little bit of a rant and I was just I don't want to include that footage so I ended up cutting that so I think I referenced something that like I talked about in the rant and then it just seems weird but I just wanted to clear that up now I have kind of been experiencing a stroke of bad luck recently I've been having a lot of issues like I tried to export a video and I got an export error that I've never had before I filmed a bunch of videos that I haven't been able to use like I bet you I've spent like 10 hours filming and I haven't been able to use any of it like I have just been having a time recently and because of that I've been a little bit more erratic with my uploading schedule and especially vlogs and part of that was because I have so many things that I want to do and especially revising I am having a lot of trouble balancing everything and finding the time for it all and I understand the disappointment but I ultimately do want to put my revisions first because my book is what I want to build my career out of so it's something that's really really important to me so I do need to be dedicating the time to that and it's very rare that I miss uploading days it's just recently I have been having a little bit of a struggle on my end and I understand how it's frustrating for you as a viewer but you also don't really know what's going on in someone's personal life so I appreciate those of you who have been understanding and patient with me and that has been a lot of you but I also feel like lately there's been an influx of just really negative things that have not been motivating me to want to film at all and it's been kind of hard to get myself into the groove of wanting to go in front of the camera and talk so I ended up kind of taking a little bit of a break and just not really vlogging this week or much last week this is a double vlog but the footage is honestly all over the place and I just wanted to have some time for myself especially since I kept on having so many things going wrong like I was literally so frustrated I sat there for ever trying to figure out why this video wouldn't export and I ended up thankfully I had already uploaded it so I ended up being able to download it from YouTube I don't even know if the quality is the same it might not be but it was just a very frustrating situation and I feel like a lot of stupid things like that have been happening to me lately so I've just been in a little bit of a funk in terms of that and wanting to put out really good videos but I feel like everything has just been against me in that goal so I really do apologize for the fact that my uploading schedule has been a little bit more erratic but I've honestly been trying to find my footing and find a balance between all the things that I want to do and it has been so overwhelming that I just end up sitting there doing nothing which sounds awful but I mean that's just I'm tired and I do a lot like I have so much that I commit to that I can't possibly get it all done and that's very frustrating for me so believe me I'm just as frustrated as you are when I can't put up a video but I ultimately have to put myself first and consider how I'm feeling and I would much rather not put up a video if I know it's not going to be the quality that I like to put out than put up a video that's going to be really crappy pro quality and I'm not proud of it. I also don't know why my camera keeps on going in and out of focus. Like literally just so many issues. I don't get it. But I think that the footage that I lost was on a memory card that all of a sudden wouldn't be read by anything and I ended up just reformatting it which meant that I lost everything that was on there. So hopefully I didn't have anything that like any memories or anything on there because it's all gone now. And honestly what is happening with this camera? Like I just I'm just having all the struggles right now but I promise that next week will be better. This week actually I am going to Orlando for Booknet Fest which is really exciting. I've never been before and I'm really excited to meet some new people and see some familiar faces. I think it's going to be great and then my dad's actually going with me and we're going to Disney on the Sunday so I'm really excited to go to Disney for the second time this year. I had never been before and now twice in a year. I'm so pumped. But I'm just working on not getting so frustrated and hopefully my luck will turn around because it's honestly been like really awful and I feel like I sound so whiny but it's just really frustrating when I spend hours on something that I'm really proud of and then I can't actually like do anything with it. I don't know. I'm just gonna stop talking because I'm just gonna keep on going and it will turn into a big long rant all over again. So once again thank you guys so much for your patience recently. I understand how it is very frustrating for you when I don't put up a video but like I said I need to put myself first and I am not a content making machine unfortunately. As much as sometimes I would like to be I'm just not. I need to take care of myself too. So thank you guys for watching this reading vlog. Like I said, next week I promise will be a lot better and there will be Disney things so it is going to be a very exciting vlog. So I will see you guys in that vlog. Bye!